Billy, how did the Wellington boot come to be such an important part of your act? Well, Wellingtons are the standard footwear for the Glasgow poverty stricken. A great sign of poverty in Scotland is wellies in the summer. And from that, I get deeply interested in welly consciousness, and I've never been quite the same since. <laughs> now, a lot of people just dismiss the welly, or gumboot as the colonials have called it, as an ordinary piece of rainwear nonsense. For instance, you have the red band here. Now, this is for the political people. That's for, for the likes of your workers. That's a, a good worker's welly, that. You have the see-through flasher's welly. Very good. That's a sexual turn on. You have your liberal welly, which is true blue with little white spots. You also, but for the totally committed welly wearer, you have this lovely piece of machinery here. Now, this can be worn with great pride as a welly consciousness expert, or it can be used when you're wearing evening wear and it's raining. This is great for protecting your tuxedo on the way to the dinner dance. Excellent <laughs> piece of footwear. But best of all, we have the cultural ethnic welly. Now this is a Scottish one here, you'll notice it's tartan. Low cut for the Highland dancing. Good sturdy see-through heel for the high kicks at the back. Excellent welly. Elastic gusset, say no more. So are you trying to tell me that the Wellington boot is not just a gimmick, it's a very important thing? The Wellington is a way of life. Most certainly. You can get edible wellies, you know. Excellent. Edible wellies? Oh, edible wellies. Aye, and yeah, this is the commoner garden licorice welly. Excellent. <laughs> Great for the system. And when buying a welly, there is one thing always to remember, and this includes you folks here. Don't just buy wellies at random, put them on, hope they fit. There's a sound you should listen for as you pull a welly on. And it's spelt S-C-H-L-O-K-K. -K. It goes for that. As your foot slides in, you then have the perfect welly. In my honest opinion, this one is slightly imperfect in design. It should have rubber loops for the fingies to pull on the welly like that. Excellent. On taking wellies off, get your partner, if you're lucky enough to have one, to put his or her back to you. You then put your boot thus, in this position. You put your other foot on the small of the back, right? The partner should pull the welly, you push with the other foot, and you and again you get schluck and you're winning. Make sure to pick up your sock from the inside. Or put braces on your socks. That's I'm, welly consciousness. I'm beginning to feel that Australians don't really understand Wellington boots at all. But then again, we've always had trouble with the colonies. We lost an empire like that. Shame, but there you go. What, all because of the Wellington boot? The Wellington boot is to blame for a lot of loss of British land, most certainly. If it wasn't for the welly, we would have been fine. Well, now that you've had a chance to cast your expert eye over our range of all Australian Wellington boots, oh, what's, you're... what's your considered opinion? I think you're doing really well, especially with, with the, the ethnic model. I think, that, I think this is a breakthrough. Yeah. I personally wear the Jamaican wellies, but uh, since, you know, Scotland, our economy is in such a mess now, but... This one has great appeal. This one, oh, it's, oh, this is a two button model with the elastic loop too, yeah. Unbelievable. I think there's great hope for Australian welly wearers. Most certainly. Billy, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much indeed. If you'll just let me browse for a while, I'll see you later.